Um, the Department of Constitutional Affairs has brought in some changes, uh, but clearly the, there isn't um, a consensus that there has been sufficient change. Uh, people are still pretty dissatisfied. I'm one of those who takes the view that there does need to be openness and transparency in the children's courts and youth courts. Um, I think if people knew what was going on, they would be deeply shocked. Um, and the only way, we have a saying in my country, keep the bastards honest. And the only way you can keep the bastards honest um, within child protection is to let the light in, let people see what's going on. Yeah, well, in the criminal courts, the, the sort of presumption is that anybody can walk in off the street without asking anybody, without telling anybody, without any restrictions whatsoever, can walk in and can listen to what is going on. Now, that provides a public supervision of what is occurring. It provides some sort of safety net so that if there is a perception that there is injustice there, that person is in an, a position to raise it in the right places and to bring public pressure to bear so the, the, that wrong is put right. With the children's court, the presumption is that no one will go in unless the judge says so. And with very few exceptions. Um, but on top of that, there, is, uh, there has been a tendency over the, the last few decades for local authorities to apply for what have been called gag orders, that is injunctions that prevent people from discussing what's going on in the, local, in, in the courts. And it's argued that that is in the best interest of the children, but when you look at some of the arguments, they're rubbish. You know, some of the arguments that are put forward in child protection couldn't be more flaky. Now, if those arguments had to answer to public scrutiny, it would be the end of them. They'd stop. Um, but as long as those arguments are heard in, in, in secret, and it becomes a sect, child protection, and, and I include all the participants in that, it becomes a closed sect. And the problem is, in a sect, that people only hear one another and convince one another, and they don't really hear the feedback from outside. And that's really dangerous. If you only ever talk to people who agree with you and reinforce you in a particular line of thinking, you get farther and farther away from what the rest of the world thinks. And that's what's happened in the family courts. They've got farther and farther away from what normal, reasonable people think. And so normal, reasonable people are shocked when they find out some of what's been going on.